Hello there. So, um, as you can see, today, I come bearing gifts. Um, uh, I've received this in the post. It's actually the lens filter kit, spare part number 27 from DJI. Uh, currently starting to become available now from dealers in the UK and priced at around £12. So, uh, yeah, so I thought I'd do a bit of a... Uh, a bit of an unboxing and a review. Uh, bit of disclosure, I've already fitted this once and taken it off because I didn't want to look like a complete idiot on camera and actually it wasn't too bad. A couple of little quirks and fiddly bits but I'll go through those in a minute. So yes, the lens filter. So let's have a look what we get in the delightfully oh, I see a jiffy bag. So, instructions, pretty reasonable actually, pretty straightforward, but pretty well done in English and Chinese, if you wish. Um, very straightforward, um, yeah, no problems with that at all. Um, also comes with a, hang on, there we go, also comes with its own little Allen wrench, which is a nice touch, but more about that in a second. It's one and a half mil, so it is tiny. So uh, not many people might have one of those, so it's, it's a good idea at least that they put it in. Uh, and then we get a bag of fixings, sort of a rubber, rubber grommet there to go around the camera, seal, and the actual kit itself. And one thing I haven't actually done is weighed this. Let me go and get something to do that. Okay, so you can tell I'm very prepared for this, can't you? Let's um, set those scales and let's put everything on. So the two mounting pieces and the mounting hardware. 12.6 grams according to my scale, so not a lot. Uh, plus obviously the weight of a lens filter, but you know, as they are all different, then let's not um, let's not worry too much about that. You can you can weigh your own filters and do the maths on that. So what do we need to do? Um, basically you don't have to take your vision apart if you don't want to, uh, or even remove the camera. I didn't, uh, and it worked fine. Uh, basically what you need to do is remove these two tiny little hex bolts in there and as I said they handily give you this tiny little Allen driver to do it and at first I thought this is really quite reasonable I mean you can you might it probably won't focus uh, no, it's got a it's got one of those little rounded off sections, so you know you can go it in an angle. And I thought that was great, and I thought that was great until after about five minutes of trying with this thing, and I was really concerned I was going to strip strip the corners off the bolt. And when I've looked at it, it is really badly made. I mean, it's not square. It's it's just yeah. So out came my trusty. Um, hex driver and as you can see I've actually got a well not you will be able to but in mind one and a half mil driver on there which fits perfectly into the front end. So what you'll need to do is just uh, there we go loosen off these and that's fairly straightforward. They were actually really, really tight when I first took them off. So just be aware, you know, get yourself a decent hex driver because you're going to have to put a little bit of pressure on there. So let's just capture them. Come on out. No, that one still needs a little bit more. There we go. Okay. And then what you need to do is replace those with a couple of these little 
hosts that they provide. So basically it's a hex type there and then a long thread. So you're still getting the, the unit clamped together, but you're probably getting something for the, for the lens filter to attach onto. So these again, just fairly straightforward. <laughs> Can actually go down quite a way. So I'm just gonna, not going to over talk those. I don't want any problems getting them out again if we need to. Although, no, that one I'm not sure I need to. Okay, so they're pretty tight there. The next step is to take the um, little seal there, and you'll see it's got a it's got a lip on it there. That needs to be facing out, and it just slips over the, the front like that. It just sits, just a pressure, little pressure fit there, that just sits quite nicely there. And then you take the, the ring, which has got very the, the, the threading inside for the filters, and you kind of wiggle it over the top of the posts whilst lining it up. Oh, I'm going to just check that that's nice. Looks pretty good. Okay. There we go. And then what you'll need to do, using again the same one and a half mil is put a couple of these and I'm, i tell you what dji must have realized that these are going to cause problems because they give you four i don't know can you pick up how tiny these little little hex grub screws are i've already lost one i have no idea where it is um and they are very 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 tiny um and then what you do is you mount those on the back of the posts and these secure the ring in place and they've put a little bit of let's see they've put a little bit of thread lock there as well as with all the screws on a quadcopter they are going to vibrate loose and you should check all of them it's just a couple more to add to your regular checking regime. Flip her over, double check, Let's have a look. and there you go. And that's it done, ready to go. And that's really solid and very nice actually. I'm quite impressed. Uh, and so I um, went to your friend of mine, Amazon, so I'm not a photographer, so I don't have loads of lens filters lying around. Those of you that do, great. But I bought a Polaroid. I didn't think we were still going. A Polaroid brand um, lens filter kit, just to get me started. And it came with three, only two of which I will ever use in this context. One of them is a, um, uh, oh, no, not ultraviolet. It's for fl filming under fluorescent lights and takes the green tinge away. Don't plan on flying my vision anywhere where there'll be only fluorescent lights illuminating it, so that's fine. The other one is a circular polarizer. So the idea is that you twist that. That's that. I've actually just looked at that out the window earlier uh, when it was still light outside and um, it makes a massive difference in reflections. Uh, there's some puddles because it's been raining here again, obviously. Um, and you look through this and twist the the, the to, to polarize it and you can you, you get no reflection off the top of the puddle and you can see straight through and you know that would be I think will could prove very useful filming shots with um, water in it but the one I'm going to put on now is a UV filter which am I also going to keep on there and it's sort of as my new lens cap effectively because let's face it the little white rubber one that it came with is just and so what you do is you just through the filter on. 
and there you go. Whatever filters you, you choose, um, and there now go. It's a 46 mil. Um, and it fit those absolutely fine, and they're, 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 they're not very heavy. So there we go. So I think that's a pretty good, pretty good addition to your vision. I look forward to a sunny day at some point in the next couple of years when I can actually try out the um, circular polarizer and the UV. Um, but yeah, I think that's very good. The only thing I would really, really, really recommend if, if this is typical, before you order it, go and get yourself either a decent one and a half mil um, Allen key or Allen wrench, uh, or as I have, you know, a, a hex driver. This one has multiple sizes and it fits all of the, all of the hexes on the Phantom. So yeah, just a very quick review. Uh, I think that gets a thumbs up. Um, if you have some filters lying around, I think for the price, I think that might be a well worth, well worthy addition just to, uh, just to add a little bit extra into, uh, into your photography with the vision. So thank you very much for watching and um, I'll see you again soon.